Hey there, Dr. Dave here with another Mindstorms EV3 tutorial. Today I'll be looking at using my blocks so that we can reuse parts of our code. We begin by writing a program to move the robot forward by a certain distance. This is going to include variables for representing the power, which will set initially to 50, as well as the distance that we wish to move forward. And finally, the diameter of the wheel. Okay, in which case we, in this case we set that to 5.6 centimeters. Next, we're going to do a calculation to work out how many revolutions we need to travel. So for this, we actually need to write in or read the values of the distance traveled and the diameter of the wheel. So read both of those values in, feed it into those uh, calculation, mathematical calculation block. Update our formula here. So we're going to have the distance travelled divided by pi, or approximation of pi, times by the diameter of the wheel. That will tell us how many revolutions we need to do. And then this value will then be sent or inputted into or written into the uh, number of revolutions variable okay so once we've got all that uh, done we then read the value of the power variable and the value of the number of revolutions variable and use that as input into the move tank block. Okay, so we do our connections there for the power and then our connection for the number of revolutions. Okay, so our next step is to turn this block of code or this collection of code into reusable my block. So first thing we do is highlight the code that we want to reuse. Then we go into our tools option and choose the uh, block my block option which will then bring up the my block builder choose a name for our block so we'll call this forward distance put a brief description in there okay our next step is actually add add some parameters we're going to add three parameters the first one is to specify the power that will be driving the robot at it's an input parameter. Uh, here it gives the different styles we can use. We're going to use a vertical slider, which takes a maximum of 100, minimum of minus 100. And then finally, we'll choose an icon to represent that. So we're just going to choose one of the power icons. And then we move on to our next parameter. This one's going to be for representing the distance the distance to travel again this will be an input parameter and the parameter style again three options to choose from we're just going to use the text input and the icon that we'll use is this one here the centimeter distance one so indicate we're traveling a certain distance in centimeters and finally our third parameter will be for representing the diameter of the wheel again an input parameter I'll stay with the same parameter style and we'll choose again the centimetre distance icon. And finally, for this part, we set the icon for the actual block itself and we're going to use the, the uh, tank, tank drive icon. So notice on the left hand side there we've got the three parameters we need to then link them or wire them to variables in our code so they get wired to the power distance and diameter respectively finally we demonstrate how to use the my block so first we go down to our my block uh, selections choose the newly created one uh, update or change the 
parameters accordingly or the values for the parameters. So we'll make the power 50, we're going to drive 60 centimeters forward and our wheel diameter is 5.6. We can then use that with normal or pre-existing blocks. So we put a delay in. We then rotate our robot through approximately 90 degrees. And then we do a second call to our new my block. In this case, we're dry, decreasing the power to 20 and driving forward 40 centimeters.